Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm Sigurdang and... Well, it might look like I'm in Sigurdang. But the yeah, shader pack might give it away. No, I'm in my world. As you can see behind me... Hmm? A lot of this location is not done. There. Or this building. But we're not talking about them. We're talking about this. The UN building from Stukercraft. Started being made in 2020. And. It ended when the series ended in 2021. Now if I look at this book. The UN building. Uh, Sigurd was built over nine episodes, with the final touches being placed in the final episode. There were more plans of it, but we didn't build them. History. After burning down Seth's house, a court case occurred where the proposal for the UN was agreed on. Agreed on and worked on, uh, which started in episode five. Uh, with a uh, front of it being built over the course of the next few episodes. You can see them uh, on screen now. Of course, over the course of the next few episodes, it was being more and more completed, and albeit with a few beta bugs corrupting a few blocks, it went smoothly. Now, uh, to start off with the tour, you can see how the front here is looks fine you be there if it wasn't made out of stone i think it would look pretty nice but over here you can see some of the corruption of course uh the un president's office got some of his glass taken out and some blocks replaced with upper ores i don't get what this was about but I know it was definitely not from any of us. Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, show you the, uh, the gardens here. And I'll be with a few variations of grass. Because I cannot control uh, when I placed on the grass what it looked like. It differentiated from the original world, but the block placements are all the same as it was in the original video. Well, in the original uh, build. Uh, there we go. So in here, going through this door, you can see we have the middle of the UN with a nice sun being casted down over there. And here's like the couch that we made in the finale and the honey block. <laughs> This was fun to just kind of mess around. <laughs> Sticky situation! Um, here's where I made the intro for Sircraft 2's only video. Of course, MVP Aiden, because he won. Now, this chest does have some of the stuff in it. You can see where I stopped doing it because I knew people wouldn't look inside. Uh, but... There was supposed to be a fox in here, but I didn't add him in for the sake of not having lag. So, continuing out over here, we'll go left wing first, because uh, I think it was the most seen in the series. As I frequent it over here with... Uh, the UN Architect's office being a place that I visited often. <laughs> and we even have here of night vision. So as you can see here, we even have the tunnel system all made. Uh, and it's actually very nice. Yeah, like very nice, very nice. Over here we have more of a tunnel system. I don't know where it led to, but well, yeah. I think FNAF found it before I could get to his office. <laughs> I was gonna 
I was gonna become a Viet Cong again and tunnel into all of our offices. Uh, but yeah, just okay. Let's continue. Uh, of course, we have a meeting room with nothing in it because <laughs> there's nothing in it. We just kind of walked through here when the UN building didn't really get used much. Office 1 with nothing in it, of course, except for a torch. Office 2 is the same. Uh, this is the NAP's office, but his sign uh, was blank all of this time. And so, here's his office. Pretty nice, pretty nice. His flag. And here is uh, Jessup's steps over in the office. The dies in fate. Only the beings of the water can help you now. Uh, that's the message that um, FNAF left for Steph when uh, he removed uh, their desk. Here. Uh, this desk was missing in multiple episodes until the finale. And you can see his desk in here. Now, there's a secret here. You might have noticed this in the original. If you come down here, you find a potato farm. Uh, but let me replace that for the world download sake. Of course, all of these are going to be... Everything is going to be how you see it. And... Any builds you can use yourself, I don't care, because I made that mistake a while ago. Oh yeah, this glass pane. I wanted to talk about this because it's such a funny story. So when I was building this, I did not go back and look at the videos to see what this was about. But I was watching the finale after building this, and I saw myself breaking this glass pane here to jump out. And I realized that I broke this, fell out, realized that there was a witch right next to me, and I almost died then. Funny story. Uh, but let's look at the right wing now. So in the right wing, we have Office 4. More chairs, the UN President's office, which uh, where Aiden spent most of his days with his potato. <laughs> uh, over here, you have multiple other rooms in various offices that were never used because, yeah, and here is a big room that we never completed or worked on. It was just yeah, funny story about this is when I, I actually designed this building uh, to look good. Now, there's a disparage, uh, there's a discrepancy between how I can build in creative versus how I can build in survival. In survival, if it takes me a lot of time, I will not do that. Uh, so if it happens too long in survival and it takes too long, I will just uh, do what I do here and just kind of replace it with stone. Of course, I was trying to use a common block that we had and stone was it. And I like how uh, the stone here uh, kind of gives it a more unique survival look. Like you wouldn't, like you wouldn't see this in a lot of SMP servers, and that's because they would try to make their builds look good, and they use a lot of quartz and other blocks that are hard to get. We did not. 
And I think that's what I like about this building is it looks like it came from survival. <laughs> and it's probably because I started making it in survival. Also, I like how I built some of the uh, surrounding terrain. Like, in the actual world, this was the terrain here. We built it in a village where uh, we pillaged it for all of its resources. There's even this water area back here that we never uh, touched on. Oh, by the way, that's the next one. Uh, don't mind it. So yeah, I don't want to ramble too much on, but over here is the flags that out front of the UN building, just like how they are in the original world. Not saying that you can see the original world, but if you look at any of the videos, they're there, and I wanted to recreate it the best I can for people who watch the series. Uh, so, I thank you all for watching this, and if you want to explore this for yourself and explore the rest of the world, which I'll be getting to over these next few weeks and months, uh, go ahead and thank you all for watching and goodbye.